Horns up and welcome to another episode of Bacon Tadka. And what are we going to baconize today, you ask? Well, I'm thinking Iranian restaurants, keema, pao. Yep, let's go baconize some keema pao. Yo, K is for keema, P is for pao. My Dadu G is going to tell us about it now. Tell us, Dadu G. Keema is simply mincemeat and pao is just a loaf of bread. But keema pao is a delicious preparation of the meat with onions, tomatoes and spices and it's eaten with a pao. Or ha, keema sabse achha mutton ka bata hai. So you heard it from that Duji himself. <laughs> so to make our keema pao, we're going to get our pan on the gas. And I'm using a wok today because I find that it's much easier to work with and really helps sort of, you know, bunao the keema, which is something that you constantly need to do. So we're going to start this bacon keema pao by frying up some bacon. And I'm using about 300 grams of delicious royal bacon. And you want to fry this bacon till it's nice and crispy. Okay, so our bacon is fried and as you can see it's quite explosive. I'm going to now drain some of the oil from it so that, you know, I don't burn myself. Oh, and we don't need so much oil. So we've got enough oil in the pan now and it's time to add our onions. And we want the onions to get nice and brown. And we call this term of cooking and stirring constantly and working the dish we call it bunawing so we will constantly bunao the keema so as our onions are frying and you can see they are turning a nice golden brown it's almost like most indian food can't be made without ginger garlic paste so i'm going to add in a nice big spoon of it and bunao and the thing is you got to keep stirring and working the keema mixture so now that our onions have turned a nice golden color and we got to make sure they don't burn because your onions can go from golden to black in no time. Anyway, now it's time to add our keema. And remember, mutton keema is the best keema for this. Of course, if you don't eat mutton or you don't get mutton, lamb, chicken, beef, anything will do. But for me, mutton keema is the keema. And remember, bunao the keema. You don't want the keema to lump up at all. You want it to be nice and broken up. So now it's time to add all the masalas to our keema pao. I'm going to add a spoon of coriander powder, a spoon of Kashmiri red chili powder, half a spoon of garam masala, and half a spoon of turmeric. And there's just one more masala to add and that is a big spoon of cumin powder. I think this is the most important thing in keema pao. And then we bunao all of it nicely together. Make sure all those masalas get in. Break up the keema if it's starting to lump. Look at that, so you can see the color changing of the keema. The chili, the turmeric, ooh hoo 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 hoo. Ooh la la. Now you could just cook this for another five minutes or so and it will be ready to eat. But I'm going to add in one more thing to give it a slightly different flavor altogether. I'm going to add in some tomato puree to give it a nice rich tomato flavor. And you can also add in fresh tomatoes if you like, but the puree will give it a smoother, creamier texture obviously. And you can see the puree is given a very rich dark color to the keema. So now is a good time to check your keema and taste it for seasoning. And if it needs a little salt, add some. Remember, you can always add salt, but you can't remove it. And since the bacon already has salt, we don't want to over season. That needs a wee bit of salt, so I'm going to add some. So I'm just going to cover the keema and let it cook for about five minutes. So our keema has been cooking now for 5 minutes 
Oh, and it looks delicious. There's just one last step, and that is to add a handful of fresh coriander. Mix that in. And I'm going to leave our keema slightly wet because I like it like that. You can cook it further and make it completely dry if you like, but my keema pao needs to have a little bit of gravy to soak up with the pao. Turn off the gas and your bacon keema pao is ready. And here it is. Keema pao baconized. I love keema pao bro. It's got the soul. <laughs> I would fuck. No man, I can't describe it in one word. It's scrumptious, I would say. Because I love flesh. <laughs> this is fucking chill. This is fucking <laughs> But uh, Kima Pao, I like meat. So, if it's made well, yeah, I like it. Normal Kima Pao? I love it. My mom makes it. I never liked Kima Pao too much. I'm not a mutton fan. Kima Pao is Kima Pao. You cannot describe it, bro. I love bacon. So, bacon in anything besides dessert would be great. I am really open to it, man. I think it would be great. It's gonna be weird, it's gonna be creepy, man. And I think I like it. Because I love bacon and I love kimapo. Mixing those together would be the best thing ever. Bro, that sounds fab, man. <laughs> well, in the past, in everything that Sai has made on bacon tarka, I've always told him it's a really bad idea and I've been wrong every single time. See, now this kind of street food I could totally have. Can we not do any shooting and can I just keep eating? <laughs> no, dude, this is too good. Yeah. Mouth watering. Bad combination ever. My mother has competition. Your cooking reminds me of my mother. You need to be my mom. This is brilliant. I'll, I'll eat this and then I'll give it I mean, like, the taste and both the taste, it's blending perfectly. And bacon is making, making it awesome, man. <laughs> I could totally, totally eat this. And I'm wrong again. So good! I wish I could have this for breakfast every day. Because it would be a good day, for sure. Hope you guys enjoyed that episode of Bacon Tadka. Please leave me a comment below and tell me what Indian dish you think I should baconize next. Should I do a dosa, maybe some gajar ka halwa? You decide. Leave me a comment below and tell me what to baconize next. If you like our video, give it the thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We've also got some kick-ass bacon tadka merchandise which you can order on redwolf.in. So till next time, keep baconizing that Indian grub.